What's up, JK5? And we back with another video. Guys, today. <laughs> Yo, Nuke we is got, dropping left and right, bro. We got the scariest of them all by Nuke Star 5. Okay? The, the. the. Which is the top 10 scariest From videos. all over the place. All over the place. So you Yo. guys are here for it. And he dropped a new one too, and bro. And he dropped a new one. Yo, we cooking. Yo, we eating. Yo, yo, we eating, bro. All right, we're, we're eating good, the Guys, make sure you got your popcorns, your blankets, your candies, your diapers, and let's rock and roll. Guys, bro, buckle up and grab your... Everybody knows the end, bro. If they know the end, they have to write it, bro. Huh, write and it down. While you're writing it, don't forget, click the video. Give it a like. That's, That's it. how we know you appreciate what we're doing. And every Monday, you guys, we're live. And Kakaween is upon us. Which means <laughs> treats for you all. <laughs> Sick, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's rock and roll. It's, it's 30 10, minutes, bro. guys. We've got a lot to, to, to cover up in here, man. Huh? huh? Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Say that children have the uncanny. Oh, like oh, bro. Bro. Jesus. Some say that children have the uncanny ability to connect to the spirit world. Absolutely. In some cases, even see or communicate with the other side. Yes, no. In this next video, a father is home alone with his son when the toddler seems to spot something truly bizarre. What the? Mama. Mama. <laughs> Your mama isn't there. There's no one there. No, mama's there, bro. Mama. Are you seeing ghosts? Yes. <laughs> in another creepy video posted by Kurt Harris, his family is visiting his grandmother in Chicago when his little cousin Daisia says something that is downright chilling. That's the man come to see you in my house. Who comes to see you at night? The man. What who? man? What man? Up here? Oh, <laughs> he did. Little Daisia claims that the relative in an older photo on the wall visits her at night. Now, the only problem with that is, well, he did. Up here? He did. Wow. wow. He did. In fact, the man in the photo passed away in 2005, over 14 years before little Daisia was even born. She has never even met the man. Wow. Or did she actually meet his ghost? I, you decide. Yo, straight up, bro, she guys, did. She did. Up she here. did. Yo, look at the atoms, guys. Look at she the close-up. She did, bro. I believe look that, Look at bro. the close-up, bro. Look at that close-up, bro. Look at that goosebumps, bro. Oh, you got goosebumps, chills, bro. Chills, bro. Chills up in here, bro. What did, you have no hair, bro. Only those with the hair. But I believe that, bro. Yeah. I believe the kids see, bro. I believe. I mean, we established that already on the channel, bro. We believe. We believe. We believe. You believe. We all believe. Let us know, guys, if you think that little kids see the dead people, bro. It's true, bro. They have the sixth sense. Till up so they pass a certain age, right? Or some or keep. It, it follows. Some or some things, keep, bro. bro. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't he did. The Crescent Hotel. Built over 138 years ago, the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas has become infamous for its dark history full of death and tragedy, leaving the hotel with the ominous name, quote, the most haunted hotel in, in America. America. Okay, we have to go, the bro. It's no, no. a treatment center We're run by going. a man named Norman Baker. Baker claimed that he had, quote, the miracle cure for cancer. Of course, these claims were completely false, and hundreds of people lost their lives within the walls of this building, hopelessly waiting on a cure that would just never come. Some That's of the so patient's mean, remains bro. were said to be scattered on the property. Now, with a history like that, it's no wonder that today, many of the hotel guests claim to have had terrifying paranormal encounters. And some of these experiences were even caught on camera. Oh, Jesus Christ, Four guys. years ago, Jennifer Cronister just... was visiting the Crescent Hotel with her mother when she accidentally captured something. Bro, bro, what are you doing? What the what fuck, are you doing? man? What are you doing? Sorry, what excuse are you me, doing? kids. Inside, keep it in, huh? No, I want to see the look at this apparitions, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, the story's messed up, man. The story's mean, bro. Yeah, I like All how these people went there for the stories, a cure, bro. bro, and then obviously they 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 passed. So yeah, for sure, they have like this grudge. Bro, we have to go to this hotel. We gotta. Where is it? I where mean, was it? Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I said it here, bro. In America. America is big, bro. Okay, Press I don't game, remember where, bro. bro, but somewhere in America, bro. The most haunted go, place bro. in America, bro. Let's Just go. Google haunted place in America. The, the hotel, no? The most, yeah. Yeah. Camera. <laughs> Four years ago, Jennifer Cronister was visiting the Crescent Hotel with her mother. Crescent Hotel. She accidentally captured something truly creepy. 
girls trip most haunted hotel in America, America. and America. my nightstand on you the creepy door is my eyes just so hey, that's why I come back. Early oh, time, I yo! did you see it yeah we yeah, saw it bro, we saw down, it becomes clear that something moves in front of Jennifer's camera Something that resembles Did a she small see it? child. Did she see it? Even creepier, Fox Nation reporter Abby Hornacek also stayed at the hotel and left with painful scratches on her back. But that's not all. Okay, we're not going, Blind guys. Angela no, 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 no. <gasps> What's the go behind, bro? Is that my daughter there? Oh, shit, bro. What's that? It doesn't mean that you get scratches that we're not going. We have to go. One of us is going to get scratches. It's okay, bro. Yeah, but if you we put get a, a Vero. Yeah, if we get scratches, it's the end of the channel. You close it. You're, you're going to become a priest. You're going to get blessed. We could open a Jesus, Jesus channel. Oh, boy, bro. Yeah, we change our... Uh... And we react to it in church. Yeah, exactly. Gospel music. Gospel music, yeah. Holy gospel. No, I would go. Honestly, I would go. Not that I would not be scared to go, but I would go. Cause there's action, bro. Yeah, I'm not sleeping though. Nah, who said we're sleeping, bro? <laughs> you're down, bro. Though. Now you're down. A bit, a bit. You have that, like, I'm down. I'm down. I'll chill outside. Lena and her daughter were staying in room 212 at the Crescent daughter. Hotel. It is said that on this side of the building, the spirit of a mysterious lady in white is often seen on the balconies. Ah! In fact, it's claimed that sometimes this ghost is actually seen falling from the balconies into the garden below. Yeah, no, no. So, it's six in the morning and Angelina is outside her room enjoying her coffee. And then... This, this happens. happens. Yeah, Labra. Angelina is shocked and also a bit excited when she hears the voice of a woman singing from the balcony right next to her. Because there's no one over there. Angelina says that she was a bit creeped out by the experience, but she is also grateful to have captured what this she is believes good, guys. is the voice of a spirit. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice voice, bro. Like Snow White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. Huh? Who's Late there? One night, Number eight, guys. Decide to film no, we have to go there, bro. Spooky dare at a local school that is said to be haunted. The story goes that if you go around to the back of the school and knock on the nurse's office door. Yeah, bro. Who remembers this one, bro? Who remembers? This was a bizarre bubs. Uh, yeah, it was, eh? The knocking video, bro. That's one video oh, that- Oh, Frank called. Frank is back, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, congrats, Frank. Yeah. Welcome back, bro. Frank is out, guys. Um, The knocking from Bizar Bob that both got us up. Yeah, 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 video. yeah. Is it this? I hope so. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Frank bro. going in the back, knocking on the nurses. It's this video, bro. Someone or something will knock back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go. That was go. <laughs> Just knock on it, knock. <laughs> WPS right now. Go. Knock harder. Let him know. <laughs> Let him. And it still got scared, Some loud bro. Scream since the girl's running in terror. Let him. Now, unfortunately, the original creator of this video has basically disappeared off the internet. So for now. Whatever happened next remains a mystery. We need scary videos. So oh, dude, that's still gotta be the creepiest clip, bro. It's and so it's scary, but also 
the sound effects that that was added before. It's true, yeah. And, uh, before. And, 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 sorry, yeah. The story. The story was was like, tuk, 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 tuk. And we actually even use it now. Well, why is my nose so itchy? I don't know. Like right here. Look. Like right there. Or even film one yourself. Contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Let's go. School's out. School. 14 years ago, Martin Doty visited a private school in Seattle to use the school's recording studio to lay down a new track. Yo, new hit. Martin new sets hit. up his camera new in the school hallway and is about to record a vlog for social media. But for some reason, he just isn't feeling well and is having trouble keeping focused. Eventually, he just gives up. Much later, Mark is going back through the footage that he recorded at the school. What he sees chills him to his core. Okay. To the core. This okay. is the video. Let's go. Put on your diapers, guys. Put on your diapers. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. This, I'm not gonna. This is. I'm not doing this right. Um. Okay. I can't even see myself. I don't know. Oh, shit, right. bro! Did you see it? The eerie, translucent figure of a woman dressed in a long white gown can just barely be seen walking down the staircase. But as the figure suddenly turns the corner, it becomes very visible. But then it disappears out of sight. Mark is completely unaware of what's happening right behind him. But for some reason, he feels confused and unfocused. Now it's worth mentioning that Marcus dedicated his social media and YouTube channel exclusively to his music. This 14 year old footage is the only video on his channel that has anything to do with the paranormal. That's messed up bro. The unwelcome. Whoa bro. That's messed Yo, up. Let's process this a little bit bro. Let us process this, this a little bit bro. This bro, Jesus Christ bro. First off his reaction is just like super super shocking and it's so way creepy in a way. No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what I'm saying. His reaction to it's like. It's not a reaction. What is it's it his, called? It's behavior. Behavior is weird. He's tripping. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. He's tripping. You can see he's having struggle, bro. Thanks, Costa. No problem. Thank bro, you, guys. bro, everybody. Number you six, it, guys. Yeah, from Costa, from the Checky Bros. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. No problem. For uh, explaining the situation. Now we're at number six. Number six, guys. Guest. Our welcome guest, bro. Huh. Nobody's welcome, bro. <laughs> guys. Guest. <laughs> Workers at a mid-sized hotel in Los Angeles, California have noticed strange things happening on the hotel's second floor. These odd incidents usually seem to occur late at night. All right, so we're getting crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. Okay, keys, I think it's two. Yeah, I remember the floors. Right. Yeah, me too. There's a phone. Oh yeah. No one's calling, no one's here. Everything's chilling. A worker at the hotel says they've been getting frequent unexplained phone calls from an empty room on the second floor. He goes to check, but he finds no explanation for the bizarre calls. Then it goes There's no one staying in that room. But? But did you see it? Did you hear it? Oh shit, okay. After I carefully analyzed this video, I noticed something odd that neither the uploader or his viewers seemed to catch. Premiere. I've isolated and enhanced the audio to make it easier to hear. But listen closely. Without knowing, the hotel worker seems to have caught a creepy EVP of a voice whispering why as he walks down the second floor hall. But that's not all that the late night hotel staff has captured on video. During a slow night of work at the hotel, a girl named Brooke and her co-worker decide to pass the time with a fun little race challenge. They put their phone oh, in the hotel's oh, elevator yeah, on the third yeah, yeah, floor yeah, yeah. and attempt to race the elevator Shh. down to the lobby to pick it up. But then... This. Things just get weird.
good way. Elevator hangs on the allegedly haunted I forgot about floor. that, bro. That I remember, bro. Let me forget about that, bro. <laughs> Not I forgot about that. it. Opening and closing and opening. That I forgot. Ah! Oh, Yo, what a situation here, guys. Huh? You leave your phone and you're stuck in the fucking... Uh, Watch your sense. language because like, we have kids watching. Only use these words whenever you're allowed. When you grow up at a certain age, you can use them. Over 18. Over 18. Please. Parental viewer discretion is a You should try that. No. I'm gonna lose the phone. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. Thank God the ghost was saving it. He was saving the time, you know? As the doors oh, continue whatever to it is, open was saving the time. And close for no reason. And strangely enough, another unexplained voice seems to quietly say, Yeah. Hello? Okay, hello. 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 Cut to another night at the hotel. Brooke decides to record as she and her co-worker are busy arranging furniture in one of the vacant second floor rooms. The video was meant to be a random vlog showing what they do on an average night at work. But when she looks back at her footage, she finds something that is pure nightmare fuel. Yeah, bro, that was good though. Can you know this? I'm gonna clean it real quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, so my sister, she graduates in two days, and I asked for the whole week. Sorry, week bro. bro, do you see it? It's so demonic, bro. I don't know about you guys, but. What do you want to talk about? Where the mirror should go? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's do our job. Okay. okay. All right. Chat, should the mirror go here in this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. Is there somebody there? Did oh. you see it? Yo, look For at a it. brief moment, a dark shape can be seen standing in the oh, opposite corner. Oh my of god, no, bro. bro. Guys, you cannot say this is like a happy one, bro. Yo, how, bro? How can these brought chills, bro, just looking at it, bro? You know that's that kind of sense you get that kind of feeling what, you get what, when you look at you something like that's dark bro what, like, yeah, what? like white noise like white noise bro the movie yes bro that was a good movie bro. fantastic film man michael huh? keaton bro yeah yeah michael and keaton, he's changing bro. his name he's changing back his name bro to michael what uh i forget his name his original name oh, oh that was not his real name word on the street it's not oh, but wow. definitely feel like a very um one of those it's very dark bro yeah bro you see the dark bro yeah bro the posture bro the thin like he's bro. angry bro no he's hiding bro what's hiding bro press play bro eerily watching the two young women as they work but when they pan the camera back over to the corner where the dark figure was standing there's nothing there so is this la hotel haunted or is it all ah. just a very elaborate hoax Yo. You decide. Bro, you know what? You're crazy, you bro. You know what's crazy? What? Bro? While we're watching this video, while this hotel is open, bro, this thing is still there, bro. Imagine this is watching you sleeping, bro. Bro, guarantee you, bro. Tonight, that's what I'm saying. At your house here. Okay, bro. No, not here, bro. This, he's not at the hotel, bro. He's not leaving the hotel, bro. No, but saying. probably. No, no, no. Another, he's at the, no, he's at the hotel. Bro. Another person. Whoever's at the hotel bro, is not like, safe, bro. You have a demonic fucking creature, bro. Bro, that's This entity is very strong, bro. Yeah, no, Especially let's you see it from a mirror, bro. Yo, it, I, I'm surprised they didn't see it, bro. Well, they saw it now. No. No, they saw it now. Oh, yeah, 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 for you know. sure. A cry for help. Number Late five. one afternoon, two teenage girls are hanging out in the woods near their home. They're taking pictures of a red rose in the forest for an art project for school. I like that idea. They begin to hear something very strange coming from the woods nearby. And this they start to get a little freaked out. And one of the girls takes out her phone and captures this disturbing video. What if I scream to scare the demons? They would mimic your scream. Oh. That never scared me anyway. 
Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That from the forest we're in? Yeah. Fun. <laughs> the more I listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Why is it sound like those now? Oh, you gotta get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you do, bro? What is it, an animal? What do you... No, 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 no. You clearly heard help. Somebody help. So what do you do, bro? You continue recording, but you run away. No, for real, though. Guys, chat in the chat. Like, what do you do, bro? You oh, hear that? maybe it's an actual person. You're right. So go help. I don't know, bro. That's scary, bro. What, what would you do? To be honest, I don't know. I would go help, bro. Yeah, I would say, where? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. like, I'll try to be like, where are you at? Like, you know, I'll be like, where are you? Let's go, bro. But I only if I have my strap on. Yeah, yeah, you, but yeah if you... Because these, these, I don't know, man. What if Fist, guys, I don't know. Probably the guy is... Uh, you know, we don't know. He has his own strap know, on. He has, a, he has a knife. A we pointy know, strap on. I don't know. But yo, I don't know. I mean, in situations, bro, I'll definitely look for something. If uh, if I hear help, my thoughts are not gonna be like, oh, you go ghosts. spy, like like James Bond, bro. I'll go wear my suit. Yeah. I come back. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's go. Continue. What would you guys do? Let us know in the comments down below. This is freaky, bro. It Especially is. Especially that that rose idea too, because yeah, there's a one fucking rose there, bro. Excuse me. We're gonna get demonetized, bro. You're not swearing, You bro. can't swear, bro. Go. I think I know what it is. I think it's a hyena. What hyena? Ain't no hyena, bro. So a hyena sound like? No. Somebody. The two girls hear bizarre screaming coming from somewhere nearby in the woods. But the two teenagers, apparently fearing demons and hyenas, are pretty freaked out and decide to just hurry home. One of the girls tells her mother what happened and her mom makes the very wise decision to immediately call, call the, the police. Cops. The local authorities arrive and search the area and in a tragic turn of events, they find a woman in the woods desperately screaming for help. The woman's husband had suddenly lost consciousness and quickly passed away out in the middle of the forest. The woman cried and cried for help, but it was hours before anyone came. Now unfortunately, nothing could be done for the man, even if the call had been made earlier. But this very sad story is a good reminder that scary sounds aren't always something scary. Calling the authorities just might save a lot. That's the right answer, bro. You call the cops, bro. What are we doing with strap-ons, bro? You know, it's sad, bro, because she had a red rose, bro. Yeah. Bro, this is sad, bro. Look, this is sad. This Why are you making a sound like bro? that, bro? You see, it's not everything is a ghost, he's right. I don't know, but this could be my favorite video, but that was very, bro. Whew. Secret Poor lady, shopper. bro. Poor lady, bro. Yeah, you're right, man. That's Poor fucked lady, That's bro. That's really fucked up. That's a really sad situation, guys. Important to um, obviously bro, even call the it, authorities because not everybody can can go and, and do anything, bro. You know, but it if it's a person, late, that, or, yeah, but what if it's a person with a gun or whatever? You don't know these things, right? You know. I know. So call the authority. That's the right way to do it, guys. Shout out to them kids, man. Yeah, it's true. Shout out to the mom, bro. Yeah. True. And it sucks, you know, a little late. It was late, though, but Nuke said it, bro. Even though, bro, it was... It was too late. Or it wouldn't have changed earlier or not. Yeah, it's, it's just sad, bro. Number four, guys, Secret Chopper. Secret Chopper One night at around 10 p.m. at a discount store in California, Rodney, the store manager, is busy processing some inventory in the stock room. 
Rodney is completely alone when something happens that sends chills down his spine. I want you guys to focus on this area right here, okay? Hold on, let me uh, speed this up a bit. Hey, no poses already. Huh? All right, watch. No, I think it was bizarre. Look. Boom, you see that? Bro, that's Suddenly, for no reason, a box dangerous. falls from the high shelf in the storeroom with a loud bang, freaking Rodney out. But as he reviews the store security camera footage to show what happened, he suddenly hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the store. He goes to investigate, is that, and this is when things get really creepy. Is that you? Look, look, I'm here by myself. Nobody's here. It's just me. You think you are by yourself, bro. You think. You think. That's the wrong... Now wrong. he's right next to you. He's like, you think... He's even saying you think you're alone. <laughs> it's you true. Know? The ghost is like, you, really, think bro, you're you think you're alone. You think you're alone, bro. Watch but this. Buckle up, bro. <laughs> See that? Come out. He's already I'm not out. I'm afraid of you. He's, uh, he's already there, bro. You should be afraid, buddy. Is that you? I threw down the box earlier? Oh. Where's Why? the where's the baby oil? Come on out. You don't scare me. Huh. Buckle up, bro. It's a big store. I like, uh... It's nice, bro. Yeah, it's cool. That's Come on up. I would go shop there, bro. Straight up, bro. Get speakers. He's trying to mess with me. Bro, it's about to, bro. Oh, now, now Rodney searches the store to find the now source of the caca, strange guys. sound, uh, when this suddenly is he feels a weird tug on his hair, almost as if something is touching him. He goes to check the store security camera, and his blood runs cold. Oof. Did it quit? Look, there I am, right there. Look, you see that? You see that? Nah. Uh. Nah. Quit, bro. Man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 bro. All right. It looks like something pulled Yo, Rodney's that's hair. that's crazy, eh? Now, Rodney posted his video to show what happened to him, but has chosen to keep his identity and the location of the store a secret. Uh, it, I didn't want to be labeled this store as the haunted store. So... No, uh, probably the store manager that I want to be labeled as the, the hunter. Oh, probably. Yeah. Probably. I saw you in my store. Some crazy things happened. And took some video, and that's about it. So, is Look at this that. a real paranormal Look at hunter? Him. Or not? Hey, Griff. Yeah, as always, bro. I leave that up to you to decide. Emergency. Ooh. In this next creepy video, three medical students are working the night shift and it's a bit of a slow night on the job. So to pass the time, they decide to set out to explore an abandoned and allegedly haunted section of the hospital, the old out of service hospital emergency room. You guys. Wow. wow. Haunted ER. What about We're gonna go. Wow. Haunted ER. <laughs> All right, so th this is an interesting clip, right? This fellow right here seems really like invested and excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like he's pumped. He's he's probably the one that like you think that, yo, this guy is good. He's gonna be able to, to like wait. Guys, keep watching. Throughout the hospital's many years in operations, countless patients died in this section of the hospital. The most recent tragic death being that of a young child. It is said that the ghosts of patients who passed away still haunt the old ER. 
So the three med students make it down to the abandoned old emergency room. And yes, things are about to take a terrifying turn. One miss. I'm good too. Oh my god, my head is huge. Clearly, One missing abandoned. Huh? What makes a section abandoned? Like, why do they decide to abandon a section? It's probably they they, they built a new uh, emergency room. Yeah. And I Some uh, hospitals do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember my section of my the hospital I was at. Like, they closed one and they opened. But like, why why not use it for something? No, they closed it, bro. It's, That's scary, bro. Why is it scary, bro? Look what happens when you close an abandoned location, bro. Like that. Huh. I just close to the camera. You should go visit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, God. Just like, I'm, I'm not excited about this. I didn't even give it a shoot. It feels like a, um, we're getting on a... Uh, you nervous? You nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's hard. <laughs> are you nervous? Yes. It's no freaky, bro. Is <laughs> the doll guys Explain bang, guys. I don't like this. Ooh. <sighs> Why did you moan again? Remember the moan? The moaning, bro. It did, it moved, no, it moved, it moved, yes it did, it, it did. Move? How do you not see no. that? Oh, okay. And now they bounced, bro. But yeah, bro, wouldn't you? A curtain. Yo, move. Why is the lady asking questions, bro? Why, Yo, why, move, bro, just get that move. Move. Right Yeah, exactly, bro. On its own, and a cane falls to the floor almost as if it was pushed. The three medical students are completely freaked out and just run right out of there. So, are the stories true? And is the old emergency room haunted by the spirits of former patients? Let me know what you think. You know, it's always nice to see these like really good... Like, like I want to go investigate one. I would love to, Ben, but we still have a little practice to do to go to hospital. Because I asked for a bro, it's like you could do one, one thing, Ben, it's like following you to where forever. I know. Like I, I wonder what happens in the situations. You're, 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 um, not the word interrupting. You're... Interfering. No. Like, let's say you're doing something, you're working something, and I come and I bother you. What is that word? Interference. No, bro, I'm, I'm bothering you. Distraction. Dis distracting. No, that's not the right word. There's another word for it, bro. Je te délange, you know? Distraction. No, no, distraction, not je te délange. Oh, you're... Um, disturbing. Disturbing me. You know? What if they're just living the way when they want to live, and you're disturbing? Now this thing is going to be like, okay, you want to you wanna fuck with me, bro? I'm gonna come where you work, you know, which is a good. What did I say, bro? You wanna uh, fudge me up? Let's go, bro. I'm gonna come and bother you at the. Uh... Fudge you up? Well, I'm, I don't know, bro. But I'm just trying to say, bro. He's okay, gonna be, number two he's guys. Gonna be the guy now, I, bro. Uh, number two. Cynical. A new top five viewer and YouTube gamer who goes by the name Professor Cynical talks about some you scary, know. unexplainable you events that have been happening oh. at his home in England. And that kind of stuff happens all the time now, and. The, the hell? Even though Professor Cynical is, uh, well, cynical, 
and a skeptic. He says that ever since his family moved into their home four years ago, things have happened that he simply can't explain. Late one night, after being awakened by strange Robert. noises, yeah, yeah. Cynical gets up and starts recording. What happens next is downright creepy. Right, keep... Don't worry about that. that. That was my air freshener going off automatically. Eight minutes. Bargain. Woods. Tons. Nah, mate. Nah, 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 nah. Why is he running again? Nah. Nah, nah, nope, 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 nope. I am f***ing moving out. Yeah. Cynical is shocked when he sees the door oh, the door move. all by itself. But it gets even creepier. Can you make something move again? Orbs. Yeah, the sun, the sun of him. Can you make anything move? Cynical has the scare of a lifetime when suddenly a chair forcefully slides towards him from all the way across bro, the room. I would have a heart attack, bro. If something moves like that, like that, that force it's towards me, bro. I'm sleeping at church. I'm go yeah, me too. I'm going to bathe myself in in in, uh, in uh, holy water, and I'm gonna sleep on those uh, wooden yeah, benches. Yeah, sure, buddy. Yeah. What are you doing, man? What? Like, yeah, sure, buddy. What are you trying? Sure, to sure. What? Sure, what? Right? Press play, bro. Okay, but. I Professor Cynical says that he now believes his house might just be very haunted. Sell it! And he thinks that he and his family should maybe just move out. Yeah, yeah. sell it, bro. Yalla. Graveyard shift. Whoa. Number one! Dupree is working a late night shift on ambulance duty as an emergency wow. medical technician. As he's driving the ambulance back to base, something happens that he simply can't explain. Something absolutely terrifying. All right, so wow, bro. All right, guys. I guess this is the moment where you know Luke is really catching up on catching up yeah, on the ghost. But yeah, it's a really interesting top ten here, which no I can lie, definitely bro. say that these are top clips of 2024. Um, oh, that's a well you know said. Yeah, yeah. I, I bro, this one is like for those who are, guys, are like buckle up, bro. If you haven't seen this, just buckle up, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy I, your popcorn and yeah, let's go. And then I hope you guys sleep tonight. All right, this could be top clip of the year, bro. I'm it's not sure top. how to um how to talk about this, but yeah. bro, just show it, homie. No, well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, in like I ain't never experienced nothing like this, yeah, bro, buddy. So, <sighs> so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like, set some as you can. For, I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Who's possible? Oh, shit. Okay, thank you. Bro, I could say right off the bat, like the fact that he's going so slow, cause he saw something in there, you know. Yo, imagine now driving and you see someone in your rearview mirror, bro. Yeah, and then obviously he wants to show the world what he saw, uh, and and he's very like, and he's walking slow now. <laughs> yeah, you know something's bad in there. And bro. the other guy's like, you heard the other guy. Sorry, what? Right? The other guy, bro. Okay, congrats. Today's on the phone. Yeah, he said, "Yo, can someone come pick us up?" Yeah, but yeah, bro.
rhyme the F out. Oh, yeah. So a little slight. Try to process what happens. Wait. The orbs. Oh, wait. I don't know if you see it, but can you, can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, oh, like it just flew open. Like can you? Oh, oh. No, nah, what the? F yeah, oh. just bounce, bro. What was that? You see it? Can y'all see it? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, nah. hell no. Mr. Kree is reaching to turn off the engine. Just off camera, the back door of the ambulance oh, no, flies no, open no. on its own. Okay? <laughs> yeah, he bounced, Jimmy's shocked bro. and jumps back out, leaving his phone behind. Even if you calculate the, 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 the time for it to go like this, you calculate the same time. Like, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but like the orbs. It's true, yeah. You know, so it looks like the same kind of distance it's true. between the time that you go. You know, just... Now he eventually returns and grabs his phone, but then Japri and his EMT partner see a strange unexplained shadow darting back and forth inside the ambulance. Japri says he was so shaken up by this encounter that he called his employer to come pick up the ambulance. He says he just took an Uber home. Yo, yo, imagine not the employer, bro. Imagine the employer, imagine you're the boss, right? And you're like, you have to go pick it up. Yo, I would be like, yo, fuck this, bro. Yo, yo leave it there. We'll pick it up whenever it's, when it's a bright, bright you daylight. You took that bro. Uber, bro. Yo. <laughs> That's yo, wild. Oh, yo, guys, bro. That's you, bro. Yo, really? New, new pick top videos, bro. Really one, bro. interesting ones. Yeah, really cool top, man. But definitely the ambulance for me is no. an interesting one. Yeah, it's true. But uh, my favorite one from this. Which one? Was the hotel, bro. The hotel? Not the hotel, but like the thing there, the most haunted in America. Oh, you love that one? Yo. He loves so much that he's willing once we had 700,000 subscribers to go by himself, bro. He said it, bro. I heard him clear. No, we didn't go by yourself. Nobody said nothing, bro. Okay, bro. Is that it? How is that? Guys, we love you so much. It clear, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed these reactions, guys, we enjoy scary content. Guys, give the video a like. Give it a like. Below. Give it a W. And who's excited for Kaka Ween? If you are. Give a comment and saying Kaka Ween is upon us, bro. And tomorrow we live at 7:30 Eastern time, guys. So come in, guys. We're guys. gonna bring that. We're gonna bring some cool content your way, man. Some very to some, the channel. Content, some scary shorts, some jump scares. He is, bro. Yeah, I lie, bro. <laughs> you to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, what? like. You see, subscribe to the channel, bro. Take it out. Love you guys. See you in the next one, right? Peace out.